Hi, this is uh, Dave out in Western Pennsylvania, USA. I'm developing a zinc oxone primary cell, wet cell. And uh, the oxone, as I've mentioned in prior videos, I get from Acros Organics potassium, peroxo, monosulfate. Oxone is the DuPont registered trademark name trade name and uh, I'm impressed with the performance of this my other videos part one and part two uh, go over the conditions with the zinc electrode and I'm using a graphite rectangular sheet of graphite as the uh, cathode the zinc is the anode I believe at pH 5 it's buffered the zinc on the surface is oxidizing the zinc plus two reducing the oxone to bisulfate and uh, which is interesting because uh, in terms of the electrolyte solution we expect that the potassium ions will be clustered around the graphite cathode and the peroxyl monosulfate anion would literally have to fight its way through there to get reduced to bisulfate because uh, most of them would be expected the uh, peroxyl monosulfate anions to be aggregating around the zinc uh, cathode. But uh, after three days at room temperature, I was curious uh, what the cell potential would be. Open voltage was 1.65 volts, and I've been as high without shorting as 1.93 volts under these conditions. And uh, unscientifically, I got a couple of tablespoons of the oxone in the buffer at pH 5. You see the pH 5 I think there's just enough acidity to oxidize surficial, uh, the zinc on the surface to zinc plus 2 to provide the electrons for reduction of the um, peroxyl monosulfate anion. In any event I have hooked up to it uh, a garden, a small white LED from a garden solar cell I have a video on that. I use that as a poor man's jewel thief. And I can go down to 0 0.52 volts using this little Westinghouse cells. These, they're called Bright. Walmart has them. And this time of year in our winters, I can get them in the garden for a section for a dollar each. Little nickel CAD uh, rechargeable. I've popped it out and I've attached the uh, leads. So I have a little load on this. And when I short out, let's say I'm at 1.65 volts open, when I short out, I started at 80 milliamps. So this is running very nicely right now. And uh, so far, so good. Now, in terms of the peroxium, peroxyl monosulfate, you might be saying to yourself at home or in school, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm a professor with a university in western Pennsylvania. And uh, I work with, uh, particularly with uh, electrolytes, uh, ionic liquids. I'm going to be trying to do a paste with this, uh, a dry cell. But in terms of this uh, oxone, there are four companies that make it, DuPont being one of them. And it's used in swimming pools for clarification of the water. It's got a nice, fresh, clean smell. And this is a very good primary cell, a throwaway battery. Uh, to investigate and uh, I'll keep you posted on what's going on here as I begin to uh, work with the uh, electrolyte composition I don't put in Epsom salt or potassium chloride I don't need it because the oxone is ionic so it's an electrolyte and also it is uh, what we call uh, an oxidant and it's oxidizing uh, in solution. Let's say uh, some oxidation is occurring and uh, with the zinc and uh, it's undergoing reduction itself. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.